Hello, my name is Jason and welcome to another painting lesson. Um, today I've got a 20 by 16 canvas up and I've put some black gesso all along the base and I've put an indication of a few trees, uh, some big trees here and then some big tree trunks there and then uh, I've put some liquid white over the top bit where our sky is going to be and then I put some liquid clear along the base and it's a really really small amount of liquid clear you, you don't need much let me say that again a little bit of liquid clear a tiny bit <laughs> and then you could always get a paid towel and go over it and then it'll uh, just leave that a little bit can't say that enough now what I'm gonna do is uh, put a little bit of blue let's pull out a little bit of Prussian blue just tapping just tapping the bristles and I'm going to put some blue in here because we're going to have like a bit of water just coming through here. This is actually a, uh, a painting of an area that I uh, walk my dog. <laughs> I was uh, I was out with my dog and I always take my camera out with me because you never know what you might see and uh, I was looking, I was stood on a little bridge, bridges say here, and I was looking along and I was like, hmm, that looks, looks like a nice one to paint. And I'm always doing that when I'm out in, in the woods, in the forests, having a look for ideas. And, and you should too. <laughs> right, now then, let's. Uh, Let's put in a bit of a sky as well, using the same blue, Prussian blue. Let's start at the top, and we're going to use crisscross strokes, crisscross, crisscross strokes, and we're just very light pressure. It's just mixing with the liquid white lightly. We just come down. Don't worry about going over the uh, the gesso area, the black area. Some of those little bits will show through in the end. Okay, a bit more paint and just tap, tap your bristles, tap your bristles, and that gives you an even distribution of colour. Okay, let's start in this corner. It's crisscross strokes, crisscross strokes, using push and blue. Push and blue. Start at the top and then work down, and then it'll get lighter and lighter and lighter as it mixes with the uh, liquid white. Okay, and let's uh, just get a clean brush, well, cleanish brush, <laughs> and I'll just uh, do some crisscross strokes just to get over, uh, just to blend this a little bit here and there, and then very lightly straight across, straight across, just get rid of the brush strokes. Okay, let's. Uh, there's a little cloud in the background there. So I'm going to go with some titanium white, some titanium white, and just pull in one direction, pull in one direction with a one inch brush. And then you spin, you've got quite a lot of paint, quite a lot of paint. I think there's a little, little cloud and it's just way off here. I'm just using just tiny little circles. Just tiny little circles, maybe it finishes there. Tiny little circles, maybe there's another one here. There we go, that, that'll do, maybe, or maybe there's a bit there. <laughs> Start playing. <laughs> right, now uh, back to the two inch brush, two inch brush. Just going to wipe on a paper towel. And then uh, the, where the base of the cloud, base of the cloud, just tiny little circles using the top of the brush. The reason we use the top and not the bottom is because you can see it. If you use the bottom of the brush, you can't see what you've blended. So use the top so you can watch it. Give yourself a bit more control. Okay, and then just lift it up, lift it up, and create some wind, wind in our clouds. These are way off. And then, and then very lightly, it's very lightly, just go across. 
now across. So you just lift up and then go across. Okay, that'll do. That'll do for an indication of a few clouds. Let's start moving forward. Let's start putting an indication of a few trees. Right, so midnight black. Prussian blue, sap green, just all on the brush. Midnight black, sap green, maybe a bit of a. Yeah, those are in crimson. Why are at it? Why not? We just want a dark colour. Let's uh, just come in up here, use the, just the corner of the brush, and just tap. Just tap in an indication of a few trees back here. Thinking about shape and form, and maybe there, wherever, wherever you want your tree branches to be, that's where they should be. It's up to you. I'm trying to think of uh, how it looks where I walk, <laughs> so I'll, I'll do the, try and do it similar. It won't be the same. No, it's quite dark here as well, so we're just chucking some dark areas. Something like that. Enough darkness all the way on here. And then let's cut some background. I'm just using the brush straight. Just to get the indication of a few trees. You can do it, does it very quickly as well. <laughs> let's uh let's put in another little bit in here. And then you've got individual branches, individual. Think about all the little different branches that you've got going on in there. And you can leave some of this light. You don't have to cover it all up. So we're back into some blue, black, crimson, sap green. Just use the brush this way again. Here and there. Isn't it fantastic what you can do with a big brush? <laughs> it's good fun. Sometimes when I'm at home I get the uh, traditional paints out and have a go with the smaller brushes. So it's always good to come back to this <laughs> and do paintings a lot quicker. Uh, maybe there's a uh, tree that's got a branch here. Just hangs over there. Maybe there's a there's one here as well. And you can use very light pressure. Maybe there's one there way off here. Very light pressure. Back back in there. It's a good idea to talk softer when you're doing that. <laughs> it seems to work better. Right, let's uh, let's put in some branches and things in there. So I'm going to use the liner brush. I'm just going to dip into a little bit of paint thinner, a little bit of paint thinner, and get some of this uh, Van Dyke brown. Van Dyke brown, and turn the bristles. You want your paint to be thin as ink. Okay. Now let's start putting in the indication of a few branches back here, here and there. Where, wherever you want. There's all kinds of trees in here. Actually, down there's a path here, and there's a uh, there's a huge heron that always hangs around on this tree back here. And I take the camera each time, hoping to get a picture. But as soon as I get anywhere near, <laughs> it flies off. <laughs> I'm sure if there's any photographers watching this, they they know what that's like. Another thing that happens to me quite a lot is uh, I get the camera out ready for the shots as I walk around and I don't really see too much and then I put the camera away and as soon as I put the camera away then I see something and by the time I get the camera out it's too late. <laughs> and we're just, just doing indications of little branches here and there. Whatever you want. 
if you're you're at home doing this, you can really take your time and put in all the little branches here and there. And in these light areas, that's where your branches are going to show up nicely. Maybe there's a, there's a big, big stump there. one there. There's a few in there. And some of these, maybe some of them haven't got haven't got any leaves on this branches. It's had its day. <laughs> right now let's uh, put some little highlights on some of these while I just Get, get a bit carried away with this, good fun. Right. Let's highlight some of these using the uh, back to the big brush. Back to the big brush, get some, some of the green, green and crimson on the brush. Then I come down to my yellows and I pull out some of the cad yellow, some of the yellow ochre. Get a bit more dark, get a bit more of the black just to make it darker. I don't want this to be too bright yet. Okay, so you just push up, just push up, and if you push the corner, you get a little ridge of paint. You can see that, you get a little ridge of paint. You get one of those on your bristles. Right, let's, uh, let's start with this one. Just touching, touching. Here and there, we'll just highlight a few of these branches. Just using the corner of the brush. Just using the corner. A little bit more of the color. Maybe there's a, there's a branch here. There's one sort of going along there. Just wherever you see the little branches, just put them in. Leave some dark bits so. though. There should be one there. Oh, I went a bit overboard with the paint there. <laughs> Looks a bit thicker, but that's alright. Maybe there. Here, a little bit here in front. Of that. And you're thinking, thinking layers, thinking layers, little areas where there's brighter bits, areas where more light's hitting, like this one. Just using the corner. There. Thinking, thinking angles, thinking angles. Let's go into a little bit of Indian yellow as well. All different colours. Here. Okay, let's let's put a little bit on this one. I think this one needs a little bit of a highlight. Okay, maybe let's start working on this side. Back into the colours, the dark colours, the yellows. Just pulling it down. And then pushing up, pushing up, push into the paint. Right, let's let's do this side. Let's uh, just touch, touch. It's very, it's very light pressure, very light pressure. And there's a branch here, maybe. And there's one here going this way. All, all different angles. This one up there. Maybe we'll throw in a little bit of bright red. Just to change the flavour a little bit. Actually, the, the bright red is in fact it's our duller. It dulls the colour down a little bit with the green. So green and red mix a brown. Okay, maybe there's a little highlight there. And wherever you want. Like I say, it's your painting. wherever the highlight should be on your painting, that's right. Well, there's a bit there, and it sort of comes down. There's a little bit here, and it's a bit hanging over here. Maybe there's a bit more, there's a bit more there. Okay, okay. A little bit here and there. Or wherever you want. Okay, let's start. 
Let's start coming forward a little bit. Let's go back to our darks. Darks, our blacks, our blues, our greens, our reds. And let's, let's just uh, block in a bit of colour here. Let's just block this in. This is where it's going to come forward a little bit. And let's use the one inch brush and I'll just get a little bit of white, a tiny bit of white on the one inch brush and here around this area this is where the water is so I'm just going to pull down, just pulling down, just pull down and it, it sort of comes, it comes out there just pulling down, get a bit of more of the blue for that top area. There we go. It's got a bit of green in it, but that's okay. The water is a little bit green, so maybe we should put a bit more green in it. It's got all that algae in it. And the ducks love it. <laughs> they really do. Okay, that's that's where our water is and then using the clean dry <laughs> two inch brush let's just go across let's go across that just mix it up a little bit okay that'll do right back to our dark the so uh, dark actually goes over this the water almost gets lost over here you don't see it too much. Okay, that'll do. Now back to our little brush. Let's put in a bit of a grassy area. It's a, bit, a bit of a grassy area here. Just tapping, just tapping. Following the lay of the land. The lay of the land, it's, there's a bit of a grassy area here. And over this side, just tap it again. And the more you tap it, the softer it gets. See, the water gets lost in amongst all the grassy bits and the trees. Okay. And back in here, this is all bushes and things. So let's go into some dark. And there's dark already on there, but I just want a little bit more, a little bit more of the colour. I'm just touching, just touching, and then uh, let's use the one-inch brush. I want to show you bushes. So, using the one-inch brush, I'm going to dip into some liquid white still on the brush, and I'll go into some of the yellow, some of the yellow ochre, cad yellow. And I'm just pulling in one direction, look, and you get a little, little bush shape forming in your paint. If you get that shape, you've got a, the right amount of colour, the right amount of paint on it. Because you get one of those bushes on your brush, and then you turn over, and then touch very lightly, you just touch, and then you push up, touch and push up, and then you get that nice little lacy effect. I'll put in a few of these little bushes in here. Just touching and pushing up. Just touching and pushing up. There's, a, there's one there as well. He sort of goes out. There's another one there. Okay, that gives you a. Uh, you know how to do those now. Okay. Oh, let's put one here then. While we're at it. <laughs> We're just touching, pushing up. Okay, let's go back to our grassy bits. Get some more of that dark. Let's put in uh, a little bit more grass here. Just tapping, just tapping. Following the angles. Following the angles. This bit sort of comes down there. A 
bring some of this grass over into the water because that's, that's how it is where I walk a bit lighter there <laughs> just keep tapping if you want it to get softer that's a bit, a bit there okay let's uh, let's just put in a few little sticks and twigs in amongst this bit go into some of the browns both the browns a little bit of the paint thinner both the browns and let's grab a little bit of white just a little bit just so we can see this let's put in a few little sticks and twigs in here go into a little bit more paint Put in a few little sticks and twigs. We don't know where they are. Everywhere. Okay. Right, let's uh, some big trees in there. <laughs> some big ones. Let's uh, see where we're putting the indication there. So let's put them in. Got the big brush. Big brush. Some Van Dyke brown. Let's get a bit of dark sienna as well. Let's really load this brush. Really load it. Right, let's put them in. One of them lives here. Another one lives here. Straight through that tree that I really liked. <laughs> oh well. Good practice to put it in. If you were uh, done a tree in the background that you really like, just leave it in. You can put your big tree in somewhere else. Yeah, there's a clump of these trees, and uh, at some stage, the wind blew one of them over. And it's here. It lives there, and then it, there was another one that lives along here so we put that one in it sort of goes like that okay and then that one that one's sort of in front and you can see a bit of the roots so we'll, we'll put that in and then uh, there's, a, there's a big branch on this one and it goes like sort of there and that's about right that's exactly how it looks <laughs> Maybe a little bit different, but it's almost right. Um, right, let's before we do that, just stain something. Let's just pour a little bit of this colour into the water. Let's just pull a little bit of that in. Just pulling straight down, and then going across, just to put in a little reflection. And then this tree trunk. Just put a bit of brown in there. You can sort of see that one. There's a little bit there as well. And let's pull that down as well. Just pull that into the water and then go across. Just to give it the indication of a little reflection there. Okay. Let's start. Start working on a few, a few little. Bit of a little bit of liquid clear. Gone into liquid clear this time. You can either go liquid clear or paint thinner. It doesn't really matter. As long as your paint's thinner. And just roll in the bristles. There's a, there's a branch that lives there. And I'm giving it a wiggle and, and a jiggle. <laughs> there we go one there as well that sort of lives behind and there's, a, there's another one up here that sort of goes across like that there we go Apparently most of the branches are right at the top of the trees so we'll leave it at that and on this one a bit more of the colour on these trees there's a few branches that go upwards because they've fallen down the branches have had to uh, grow up to get some sunlight. Okay, 
isn't too many though, there's another one that's sort of here. one there and this has got quite a lot of small ones so we'll put them in okay let's start highlighting these trees now there's a variety of way of highlighting the trees so <laughs> let's do one of them get some I'm using the smaller knife today the uh, dark sienna van dyke brown some white pulling it out very flat and then cutting across a little roll of paint on my knife and let's, let's work out where the highlight is I'm just going to touch just touching touching the outside edge and then I'll bring it round okay that gives us a I don't want this one to be too light because Otherwise, the one in front <laughs> won't stand out. So, keeping this colour dark. Okay, let's touch this one in. Just touching. Okay. Right, let's start working on this one. Let's get a bit more of the white back into the dark sienna. Maybe there's a bit of bright red in it as well. Let's go a bit lighter. Just pull it out flat, cut across little roll of paint and let's start highlighting this one it's going to be a little bit brighter than that one because this one's in front it's always a game of uh, light and dark and then just sort of bringing it around okay and then there's this one here and we can use use a, use the same colour. Be fine. So I'm just touching, touching, and just giving it a little pull, and the uh, canvas will take what it needs. Just touching, and go all the way up, all the way up, and then come round round the tree, and it get darker, darker, darker. Okay, now we've got these trees that have fallen. And we'll again, cut across, little roll of paint. I'll leave this one fairly dark. Just touch in. Just sort of bounce in the knife. Okay, and then maybe there's a bit of light in there. Okay. And then uh, let's do this one. Do this one a bit lighter. A little roll of paint. A little roll of paint, and then just bouncing it. Okay. Right now, let's uh, let's put in a little bit of the greenery. Oh, I feel like there should be a bit more light in there. There's always a little bit of a sparkle on this one where the light has just gone so let's just add that in it just tends to sparkle these yeah that's, that's okay maybe, maybe tap that a little bit make it a bit darker there we go that'll do okay right let's start putting a bit of the uh, greenery foliage leaves <laughs> so back to the big brush all the colours, just tapping, tapping away, top, top of the trees, oh, there goes my cloud, <laughs> I like that cloud, oh well, I, I remember how to do it, we had to do another one, this, this branch is in front of that one, okay, and there's a bit that comes down here as well, like I say, most of it, most of it's right at the top on these trees, Let's put a few on this as well because there's a few growing here. It's not doesn't grow as well <laughs> when the tree fell. Doesn't do as well as it used to, but it's still alive. It's still there. I can't say it's still standing there. <laughs> there we go. Right, and then uh, back to our 
Big brush. All the colours, push up, a little roll of paint. And just touch, touch that one there. Put the highlight on top. And this one. Thinking angles. Remember a thin paint or stick to a thicker paint. If you're uh, struggling a little bit there. And a bit on there, a bit on this one. Okay, and let's just uh, clean this one up with the paint. And let's just tap in some nice little highlights in here. Just where our grass lives. A little bit more of the dark greens. This is all grassy around here. Just tap it, just tap it. Just tapping, picks up the blue that we put on, and like I say, the, the more you tap, the softer it gets. The softer it gets. Okay, let's just clean up bits of this. Clean that up there, and that's just over here. That should be a bit darker where the, where the trees casting its shadow. Okay, so uh, I think we're just about done here. And uh, just to finish it, I'll just put a little bush here. Just a nice little bush. Okay, and then using the liner brush, let's go with some of the. Uh, let's make a funny colour. <laughs> Brown, red, white. And then. Uh, down in this corner, just give it a little J, a little J, B, and a little bird there. Okay, thanks very much for watching this painting. Hope you give it a go. There'll be another one of the, one of these on soon, so uh, get your easel out and get ready. Okay, thanks. Cheers.